Hey folks, Anna here from the For Real channel, your go-to spot for all things tech. Today, we're gonna crack a pretty common issue that you may face after updating your iPhone. CarPlay not working. You know the drill, so let's buckle up and drive in. So you've updated your iPhone and suddenly CarPlay decides to throw a fit. It can be a bit tricky to get to the bottom of this because of the variety of car systems involved. But hey, no worries. We're here to make your job easier. First up, let's give the basics a shot. If CarPlay isn't responding, take a look at your iPhone's CarPlay settings. Head over to Settings, click on General, and then CarPlay. Make sure you've enabled Allow CarPlay While Locked. And while you're at it, try to reset your car's infotainment system if it has one. A good power cycle can sometimes fix a lot of tech woes. Still no luck? All right, it's time for step two. You might need to set up CarPlay again. Start your car and ensure Siri is active. Connect your iPhone to your car, either through a USB cable or wirelessly, based on what your car supports. If you're going wireless, make sure your stereo is in either wireless or Bluetooth mode. All right, folks, we're halfway through the video. Enjoying it so far? Take a moment to hit that thumbs up button and why not subscribe while you're at it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments too. We love hearing from you. Now back to our journey. Let's turn our attention to Siri. Go to settings on your iPhone, tap Siri and search and under ask Siri, turn off the listen for tab. Wait around 30 seconds and turn it back on. Also, let's not forget that iPhones can sometimes be picky with third-party cables. If you're using a USB cable to connect your phone and it isn't working, try using a different one. Maybe the cable that came along with your iPhone. Here's another thing you should check. Restrictions. If you've accidentally disabled CarPlay while setting restrictions on your iPhone, it won't work. On your iPhone, go to Settings, to Screen Time, to Content and Privacy Restrictions, then to Allowed Apps and make sure CarPlay is enabled. Bluetooth issues can also cause CarPlay to work differently, especially if you're connecting wirelessly. If you're having trouble, remove the Bluetooth connection between your iPhone and vehicle, restart your iPhone, and try to connect again. You can also check if there are any old or unnecessary CarPlay connections in your settings, to General, then to CarPlay, and delete them to see if that resolves the issue. Some of you may have noticed that the Maps app's night mode doesn't activate occasionally. Try starting navigation to a location and then cancel it. You could also adjust your vehicle's dimmer. Are you a Spotify user? Some people have found that Spotify no longer works with CarPlay after updating their iOS. Try closing and reopening the Spotify app. If you have the Waze and Spotify integration activated in the Waze settings, try turning that off. And finally, there's the black screen issue. Even though the touch functionality works and you can hear the audio, the display stays black. A simple fix for this is turning off the car and performing a hard restart on your iPhone. Okay, folks, we're at the end of this ride. Remember, these are just a few tips to get your CarPlay working again. If you've found a solution we must cover here, please share it in the comments section below. We're sure it'll help others facing the same issue. Drive safe and see you guys in the following video. Anna out.